Many people think that when Jesus died and rose again, that was the end of God's plan of salvation. But not so. Jesus is doing something very important for your salvation right now. So let's have a look at what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, Therefore, holy brothers and sisters, who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, whom we acknowledge as our apostle and high priest. Now, when the writer of Hebrews was writing this, he was writing the book of Hebrews to the Hebrews, to the Jews. And so they understood the whole process of salvation that they had in the Old Testament, of where they would go to the temple and they were offer sacrifices. And they knew what a priest was for. They knew especially what a high priest was for. And so the author is sharing that Jesus is our high priest and that he is doing a work for us in, for our salvation in heaven right now. We need a high priest, he's saying, and Jesus is our high priest. So what is he doing? In Hebrews 4, and verses 14 to 16, the author goes on and shares what Jesus is doing for our salvation. Hebrews 4 and verses 14 to 16, it says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So here the author says that Jesus is our great high priest in heaven. More than that, he is, he is able to sympathize with us, with our needs, with our problems, with our situations, because just like us, he was tempted in all ways, yet was without sin. More than that, he says that we can now, because of Christ, approach that throne of grace with confidence, with boldness, to come to him and to find the help that we need in whatever situation we're facing. And that's all because Jesus is our high priest in heaven right now. But the Bible tells us more. In Hebrews 7, verses 23 to 26, it gives another wonderful promise about Jesus as our high priest. Hebrews 7, verses 23 to 26, it says this, Now there have been many of those priests since death prevented them from continuing in office. But because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood. Therefore, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. Such a high priest truly meets our need one who is holy, blameless, pure, set apart from sinners, exalted above the heavens. So here is Jesus. He is interceding on our behalf because that's the work of a high priest. They would intercede on behalf of God and his people. They would bridge the gap between God and his people. And here it says that Jesus lives to intercede for his people, that once again, they might find a help that they need in God through Christ. So I want to encourage you, grab hold of that high priest who is in heaven right now, interceding on your behalf, speaking to the Father on your behalf and claiming his blood, his sacrifice, his perfect life on your behalf so that you can stand in front of God, perfect and pure because of his grace. So trust in your high priest, Jesus Christ, because he is able to save completely those who come to him.
Thanks for watching our videos today. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and put a comment down below. But also, feel free to share this video with your friends, either via the share link down the bottom or just post it on Facebook. We really appreciate getting God's word to more people. Thank you so much and God bless.